Thank you. Hi, Faith. Thank you. Hi, Faith. Good. Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, so in today's video, I thought I could give a bit of an update on Phil and his condition. Um, so for those of you that don't know, Phil has a condition called hyperthyroidism. We've been testing for a couple of years um, with different vets um, and it was around October, November time last year that we really pushed for some treatment. Um, just because Phil has, on his thyroid, he has the low level of normal, he doesn't have a low thyroid level, so it's not quite at a level where they would normally pursue treatment. But when he started really displaying cosmetic symptoms, so he lost all of his tail hair, um, that's when they decided to pop him on the medication. Since then, so it's been, what has it been, eight months, nine? October to June, July, we're in July now. Um, since then, he has, since he's been on medication, he's definitely had more energy. But what hasn't happened is his fur hasn't grown back. If anything, it's got worse. Not only has his fur condition got worse and the hair loss has spread, he has started doing this thing where he, it's like he thinks there's a, a, a fly or something in the room that is around his back side and he wants to catch it. So he's always trying to bite his tail, which is normal for some dogs, but it's not normal for Phil. He's never done that before. Uh, but it's like his his backside is really, really itchy and he can't get to the, he can't scratch the itch. What's wrong, Phil? So that's starting to make me think that the condition is now making him uncomfortable. Before it was just cosmetic and his tiny tail was what made Phil Phil. Whereas now it's getting to the point where we think he might be starting to get uncomfortable. So we are a bit concerned. Um, we've been going to um, the vets for blood tests. So when you see patches, some people have commented on his front paw here. If you can see that. Um, they're just where they've shaved him to do a blood test and he's got the same on his back paw on this side. Um, so that's where they've shaved him to do blood tests to check his thyroid levels and then we keep increasing the dosage at the moment. Um, so that's what our vets have said. But recently somebody contacted on in us on Instagram and gave us some details of a European specialist in dermatology for dogs. Um, and they're about an hour's drive away from us. Um, so we contacted them and tried to get an appointment, but we needed a referral to get into them. Um, so we had to ask our vets to pass our information over so that we could go and see this specialist. And that appointment is this Tuesday. Um, so we're going to go and see this dermatology specialist to see what they say and see if there's any additional tests that they would run. The person that recommended um, the vets to me when they showed me before and after pictures of their dog it was so so similar to Phil and the way that the hair loss was kind of spreading up the dog um, and their dog actually only really had fur left on their head which really worried me for Phil. Um, Phil was nowhere near that stage yet but he has got patches of hair loss especially around his neck um, on his back legs and obviously he doesn't have any hair on his tail. Um, so we're going to go see this specialist and see what tests they recommend we run, if it is just a thyroid condition that's causing this, if we're just still not on the right dosage for the thyroid medication, or if there is else, something else going on. Um, and yeah, we'll keep you guys updated um, and see what they say. Daddy? Hi, Pai. Good boy. Hi, Pai. Daddy bear. Hi, Pai. Now up, 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 Philip, up, come. Good boy, teddy bear, yay, teddy bear. Can Nico do it? Nico, up, ow. Wait, I wasn't ready for that. Nico, both for us, double, double. No, 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 ow. It hurts when you do that. Nico, double, double.
Nico doesn't do tricks as well as Phil, so that is like a massive deal that she managed to do that. Also, my back may not never recover from those scratches. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go see this European specialist. Um, we've got a, I think it's like a 10 minute consultation and it's costing an arm and leg, which because we've requested to see this specialist, um, our insurance is highly unlikely to cover it. So that's just for the consultation. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, well, I think, I don't know if they're going to run any tests on Tuesday. Hopefully they will. Um, but we'll keep posted, we'll keep updates on what they say. Um, and we'll hopefully try and vlog what we can whilst we're there. It's just lifted up in terms of lockdown here. So we're not limited to what vets we can travel to, not into our local area. We can travel a bit further. So yes, yeah, so this one's about an hour down the road. Um, and yeah, wish us luck. Fingers crossed we'll finally start getting some answers and get something more manageable, get more control over Phil's condition. Oh, we, baby. Okay. Yeah. Right, you say bye bye. Say bye. Go. Ow! Say bye bye. Say bye. <laughs> right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Subscribe. Bye, everyone.